Hello you guys, so today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial and showing you guys how to make these abstract landscapes uh, using Blender and a little bit of uh, Photoshop. So it'll come um, come out like this, here are some examples that I've created using different, um, different files. And uh, it looks very much like a particle system but it is done in a different way. So let's get straight to it. So first what you want to do is open up Blender and go X and delete the default queue and go shift A and add a plane then you want to zoom in a little bit more so you can see better then we're going to tab into edit mode and subdivide it uh, I like to do it hundred times so you get a lot of vertices then you want to place A to deselect everything and go to select and then press random so it'll randomly select quite a bit of vertices for you. Then you want to do is X and go faces. You want to delete faces. Now uh, it only deletes only a couple of faces, so you want to do that um, quite a few times. Um, just repeat the process. I usually go five to six times. Um, just Yeah, until you get something that looks like that. Now you want to tab out of edit mode, then go to your modifiers tab right here, and go add modifier, then add a subdivision surface. Now uh, you want to leave the view at one and put the render view to up to three because you want to you don't want to put your view three it'll um, slow down your computer quite a bit. Now we're going to um, put the displacement modifier. So you want to go add modifier and click displacement and then you want to press new then you want to go to the displacement uh, um, option so you want to click this button right here and it's letting us choose an image so make sure it's on Im image or movie then go click open now you want to choose the um, the height map or the displacement map um, of the file that we're going to use so for this project I'm going to be using the file I'm going to be using this file right here, so we need to create a, a height map for it. So open up Photoshop and then drag your image on there and go image adjustments and hue and saturations and bring the saturation all the way down to a negative 100. Now you can use whatever software, um, photo editing software you want, I just prefer Photoshop. Um, let's go OK. Then you want to go save as and just save it as a JPEG. I'm just going to call it this for displacement. By the way, guys, I'll upload these two um, image files for you so you guys can check it out. You can jump back into Blender and locate that file. So you want to choose the displacement one and go open image. Now it's going to give you something that looks like that. So you want to jump back into your modifiers because you want to lower the strength down a bit, a bit. So probably go 0.85. Yeah, that looks good. Then when you, what you want to do is you you can keep it like this, but I prefer to um turn the viewport off. So you can just click these two eyes right here, so it turns it off, and you can turn it back on if you want. But for the sake of tutorial, I'm going to turn it off. Then you what you want to do is you want to add a cube so go shift a then add a cube then you want to scale it down I prefer to scale it down by 0 0.003 so it's very small it looks like that watch it from the top view and it's it's around that size so if a the face of the um, plane mesh is that big you want to have these um, the cube that size maybe maybe I'll turn it up a little bit more and uh, that should be good then what you want to do is you want to scale it up uh, on the z-axis go S and Z on that much then pull it up a bit so it's on the surface now what we're gonna do is uh, add the material for it so the image texture so you want to go to your materials tab and go new we're going to name this and call it uh, abstract. Then we're going to leave it as diffuse 
and click this button right here and go image texture open open the image locate it and then we're going to open up this abstract image right here and uh, that's not all we're going to do for it so we're going to jump into our node editor so currently it looks like this right now but we're going to do a bit more to it so we're going to add a mapping um, node to it so go mapping and add the two vectors together make sure that you change this one to texture and you add a object info and put the location to the vector of the mapping node we're also going to give a bit of um, a glossiness so we're going to add a mix shader to combine those add a mix shader right here give it a value of 0.1 so only a little bit of glossiness then we're going to add a glossy shader and put it to the mix shader now we have given the material to this pole right here but we're going to need quite a bit of it so it's not a particle system but we're going to be doing this a different way so you're going to have that selected then hold down shift then select the plane then go control P then set parent to you're going to click on object now this uh, little pole we created right here is now parented to this plane so you're going to select the plane make sure the plane is the one that's selected then you want to go to this um, object panel right here go all the way down to duplications then you want to click on verts and it'll duplicate that mm -hmm. parent vert multiple times now uh, the reason why it looks so flat is because we've disabled the viewports in our uh, modifiers tab so you want to go back to your modifiers tab and enable these two the subdivision surface and the displacement and it'll give you something lo that looks like that now obviously your computer will get a bit laggy considering how many vertices there are but um, but this is what it's gonna look like so now it just uh, it's just about all the rendering so you're gonna set you're gonna have to set your camera wherever you like so I like to look from the camera press N to get this tab and lock camera to view just zoom in until you find a good spot just gonna fine and click that now you can render it as it is but uh, I'm gonna do something a bit different on this I'm gonna click on the middle right here and then go shift a make sure my cursor is right there shift a and go empty plane axis now we're gonna get this axis I'm gonna scale it down a bit with S then select my camera go to my camera options and on focus I'm gonna find the empty that I've created so it focuses on that so it gives us a bit of a depth um, it gives us a depth of field but you want, there's a, quite a few things you want to do here you want to change that to f-stop and the number is a bit too high right now so I'm gonna make it something like 2.5 and uh, you need a lamp obviously to show the lighting so I'm gonna I'm gonna probably have the lamp from the back so I'm gonna go shift A put the cursor behind the camera shift A and then go lamp and sun lamp Oops, sorry shift A lamp and go sun lamp down a bit rotate it now when it gets to this part you guys it's just um but playing with the lights and seeing what color suits you there's no exact science to how to do this but uh, that's basically it so let's see what the render looks like and it looks something like that which is pretty cool it gives us an abstract particle effect now you can put a plane underneath or you make it a lot bigger and or you could just do vertex paintings but um, that's about it, you guys. Um, I'll give it, give this a quick render, and we'll see how it look comes out. At so, percent. I'm gonna give the sampling around 300, and let's give it a render.
And this is the outcome, you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.